this nugget is about orbits. The force of gravity acts between the Sun and the Earth. The Sun has far more mass than the Earth, so the Earth experiences a resultant force that acts towards the centre of the Sun. This force is called a centripetal force because it acts towards the centre of a circle. In this case, the circle is the orbit of the Earth, of which the Sun is at the centre. The Earth's velocity is always at right angles to this centripetal force. The Earth's instantaneous velocity, which is its speed and direction at this specific moment, is at 90 degrees to the centripetal force. Let's imagine that this diagram is a snapshot image of the Earth orbiting the Sun. This means that at this time the Earth is trying to move in a straight line and continue in the direction shown by the arrow. So why doesn't the Earth continue in a straight line? The Earth doesn't continue in a straight line because its velocity changes. The force from the Sun causes this change in velocity. It's like the instantaneous velocity is trying to make the Earth continue in a straight line, but the resultant force is trying to pull the Earth towards the Sun. It is important to note that the Earth does not actually get to start moving in a straight line because the force from the Sun is always pulling it away from this path. This process happens continually, meaning that the velocity of the Earth is constantly changing. This means the Earth is orbiting the Sun. So, if the Earth's velocity is constantly changing, does this mean the Earth's speed is changing too? First of all, let's recap what speed and velocity mean. Remember, Speed is defined as how far something travels in a given time. Velocity means speed in a given direction. For example, these twins are running at the same speed, but in different directions. This means they have different velocities. In the case of the Earth, the resultant force acts at right angles to the direction the Earth is travelling in at any given time. This means that the resultant force does not cause the Earth to slow down or speed up, therefore there is no change to the Earth's kinetic energy. The resultant force only changes the direction that the Earth travels in, not its speed. The velocity of the Earth is constantly changing because the direction the Earth is travelling in is constantly changing, but its speed always remains the same. The speed at which one body orbits another depends on the radius of the orbit. As the radius increases, an orbiting body will need to travel at a lower speed to stay in orbit. As the radius decreases, an orbiting body will need to travel at a greater speed to stay in orbit. Remember, an artificial satellite is the name for any orbiting body that is man-made. Orbiting bodies that are not man-made, like the Moon, are also satellites, but they are natural satellites. Now we're going to look at two examples to understand why there is a link between the radius and speed of an orbit. Satellite A orbits the Earth with a radius of around 36,000 kilometres. This is closer to the Earth than satellite B, so the gravitational force experienced by satellite A is greater. 
Satellite A hence needs to have a greater speed to orbit the Earth. If satellite A travelled much slower, it would be pulled out of orbit and would spiral towards the Earth and crash. Satellite B orbits the Earth with a radius of around 50,000 kilometres. This is further away from the Earth than satellite A, so the gravitational force experienced by satellite B is lower. Satellite B hence needs a lower speed to orbit the Earth. If satellite B travelled much faster, it would fly off into space, as the pull from the Earth would not be strong enough to keep it in orbit. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Check out more of our content and remember to subscribe to our channel.